On the 27th of August 2018, India's Civil Aviation Ministry released what will be the set of regulations that govern how people will fly drones in India from the 1st of December. We have read and analysed all the rules to tell you what you need to know about how to get a drone and fly it in India. It helps if we first break down the policy to its two of its most important aspects before and after the drone takes off. Before the drone takes off, you'll have to use the government's digital sky portal. First, to register your drone with a unique identification number or UIN. Secondly, get an operator's permit to fly the drone in a particular area with a valid flying license. And lastly, most importantly, your drone should only take off with valid permissions by using no permission, no takeoff software. It is important to remember that the government classifies drones into five categories based on their takeoff weights and broadly defines use case based on three important heights. Depending on the weight of your drone and how high it is flying, you may or may not need any of these, which brings us to what you need to know after the drone takes off. Case 1. Any nano drone flying below 50 feet does not need to be registered or flown by a certified pilot. Micro drones flown below 200 feet need to be registered and flown by a pilot with a valid permission. Case 3. Nano drones flying above 50 feet and micro drones flying above 200 feet and any drone heavier than 2 kilograms flying at all will need to be registered and flown by a pilot with a valid consent and permission. Aside from these, remember to fly the drone only during daytime and under 400 feet and away from designated red zones. There you have it, a quick 101 on drone flying in India. To get a detailed understanding, check out our app to understand every little detail you need to know before you get a drone and fly it. Happy landings!